The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, whom should I dread? When those who do evil and draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate Friday in the 10th week in Ordinary Time. This afternoon is also the funeral mass for our Bishop George Murray. And please keep him, his soul, and all the diocese in your prayer throughout this day. And so as we come this morning to celebrate our most important part of the day, our celebration and reception of the Eucharist, let us first call to mind the times that we have failed other people, the times that we have failed to pray for them, the times that we have failed to express to them our life of joy and resurrection turn to God and ask for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. But the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael as king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king of Israel, and Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mahola, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I long to see your face, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper, cast me not off. I long to see your face, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O oh Lord. O 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine like lights on the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, Whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So many different things we could preach on today. Let's just look at, in the first reading, the small whispering sound. I think in our lives, we have to recognize first there is the possibility of God speaking to us, and that God is constantly expressing his will for our own lives and constantly encouraging us. Looking for him in giant thunderstorms, looking for him in a blaze of fire, these have happened, but it's not the norm. And so part of our own spiritual life is the spiritual training in recognizing how very specifically God speaks to us. And so when we hear of the small whispering sound, it's something that you have to listen for very carefully and be able to interpret what it's saying. So part of that for ourselves of listening is spending time each day at specific times uh, to just be quiet and listen. I'm not saying that you will actually hear a voice. I'm not saying that you will actually have a visitation, a vision, an apparition. I'm not saying that you'll even understand it. But especially now, we do have time apart. Some people do have extra time. But we don't always need to fill all that time uh, with binge watching. We don't need to fill all that time with, with noise or distraction. We can take that time for quiet and listening. God may never speak that we will hear, and normally that doesn't happen. But we start to have a spirit of calmness so that we can listen. We start to being attuned to what is going on in the world. For the prophet, it was this small whispering sound. And at other times, it was God speaking directly to him. For our own lives, it can be through the voice of other people around us that we can discern their encouragement, their love, their presence with us. It can be in beauty that we see. It can be in music that lifts us up. It can be in our prayer lives that kind of help us find balance and peace. But in our lives, we do have to listen. And there are specific ways that God speaks to us. And if we are very quiet and take the time each day, we will soon see what that way is. And we can start to follow what is said to us in whatever language and whatever style that is spoken to us. And then be able to share that voice with others. 
that they too can find God's will for their life. And we can all together be marching on towards heaven. Uniting our minds and hearts as one, let us bring our prayers to the Lord. For all members of the Church, may God's fulfillment of the law continue to inspire greater discipleship in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our local leaders, may God's justice guide them in their efforts to practice fairness to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who face difficult family divisions, may God's love be with them as they seek healing for their wounds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our faith community, may God's call to service continue to bring us closer to one another and to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all the faithful departed, may the Lord bring them to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, And for Prudencio too, the intention of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, you have commissioned us as your disciples to bring your word to those we encounter. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers according to your will, through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all, his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse of the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
For those unable physically to receive the Eucharist, you can still receive the fullness of the graces of the Blessed Sacrament by making a spiritual communion. To make your spiritual communion, please repeat after me this prayer written by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Masses this weekend will be at 4 Saturday, 9 and 11 on Sunday, and come to whichever one best fits your schedule. Seems like that has been working. We'll see each other then. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.